All right, everyone, welcome back yet again to Orcs and Elves. Last time we left off, we had made our way through most of the catacombs and had uh, been shown the entrance into King Brahm's tomb. And, uh, yeah, now we have to find where his body is. Since, uh, Kreger was kind enough to let us in here. Also... That's totally not creepy. It's a Medusa scroll. So yep, basically what that note was saying is we do not want to be wearing Sarbox ring. Because what this does if you're drunk is you will accidentally occasionally use it on yourself. Oops. Which, as you can imagine, is not a good thing. Also, I think it's time for haste and troll's blood And once all of these uh, gargoyles have been dealt with, I'll demonstrate what I mean. Give all the corpses, all the corpses, mwahaha. And there's no secrets here, I believe. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and drink some dwarven ale. And yep. <laughs> so yep, basically when we're drunk we are actually holding it backwards and so we end up just uh, screwing ourselves over if we use it. It's kind of a neat weapon though. So all this random gold. And yeah, I will go through at the end and uh, show off all the gallery art that we've been unlocking. Because there's quite a bit of it. Oh! Prowlers. Nothing too difficult. Oop. Too difficult. Oh. And let's see. Going downstairs. And more Vader drones. Curse you. Die now. Uh, let's do just a large health. How much dragon's breath do I have? Fourteen. I should probably be a bit more careful using that. That doesn't do anything. Statue of Fedar.
who is apparently a great warrior hunter. This is Edrin. And he was the finest something. Or he was just the finest. Teclas training stick, huh? Can't imagine what that was used for. And in fact, it's probably better if I just don't think about it. Here's Olak the Bard. <laughs> ah, stop it, Warhound. Oh, I see you. I don't know, I'll have to test next time one of them shows up. Um, but I believe the Medusa scroll does not work on phantoms. Again, like I said, I'll have to try it. But that's if I remember. Anyways, here's Sarbok again. Ellen's the wand. I had it backwards again. <laughs> ah, gosh dang it. Oh well. So let's have some of Sarbox Brew, which increases our strength and defense by 40, but lowers our accuracy by 60. Also, he kind of, sort of, almost tricks you. By saying, use the Medusa scroll. Which, as you can imagine, is actually a terrible idea. Because you can just end up paralyzing yourself and then can become a, you know, punching bag for the orcs that spawn in. Which I don't really want to do. So, there potions of strength and oh god keep passing my turn on accident yep. yeah medusa scroll doesn't work on wraiths either anyways let's go ahead and heal again and actually i should probably Conjurer. New type of Vader. Also, you know what? I'm gonna zap you. I'm gonna fireball you. Shabam! 100 damage. That was a lot of damage. Let's see, 10 gold and some parchment. But yeah, I think that's the first time I've shown off the fire spell, so there you go. It's basically stupid strong. And nice, we cleared all the monsters. Potion of avoidance. Get my map back open because I didn't mean to close it. And we are missing a secret, which I think I might see. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Going over 
here. Because I think... Aha! There we go. Potion of Invisibility! Health Potion! Uh, six gold, Self Nurture 101. 17 gold, a black lace teddy. And some more health potion. So yeah, that is all the secrets and whatnot for the catacombs. So let's go ahead and head down to the forge. Took us about half hour to get through there, it's not bad. And next time, we'll take on the forge.